a video review of the Flowbee vacuum hair cutting system. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. My hair is getting kind of crazy. It's quarantine time with COVID-19 around, so I have not been able to go out and get a haircut, but that's okay because I have not been to a hair salon or a barber in 20 years because for 20 years I've been cutting my hair with the Flowbee at home with a vacuum saving lots of money and so I want to show you how I do it. You might want to do it yourself. You can. You can still pick up a Flowbee. These things, you saw them on TV back in the 80s and 90s. You can still buy them today and cut your hair in the comfort of your own home. So the way that Flowbee works is you get a vacuum and then you get the Flowbee. The Flowbee has this little head on it that has these blades inside. They go back and forth, they cut the hair. It's got a tube and so it sucks up the hair and it gets cut by these blades and there's no mess because all the hair is stored in the vacuum. But you don't want these blades right on your head. So there are these little plastic things that you put on this to space it out and give it that perfect distance off your head. It'll cut hair from like a quarter inch up to six inches. Now I typically cut my hair every two to three months with the Flowbee. It's been at least six or seven months. I've been letting it grow out to do this video. This is the length that I typically cut it right here, but you can make them longer. As I mentioned, it's got these plastic pieces you can snap on here to do longer hair, but I'm gonna use my typical length. This snaps right into the Flowbee just like that. And then when I turn on the vacuum, you see it gets really loud. That was the vacuum, that was not the blades. These are the blades. So you gotta have the blades on and the vacuum to cut the hair. Well with that, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna Flowbee it. We'll watch a quick time lapse of it and then I'll come back to tell you some more of my thoughts about the Flowbee after we watch my hair get cut. because where's the hair? All the hair is right here in this vacuum and uh, there's a little button that we can push to flip this open and you can see this little thing right here. This is where all the hair is. We can open this and you can see right in here that is all of Chris's hair neatly in here ready to dump in the trash. Now the Flowbee is pretty good for doing the big, big movements, cutting the hair. I do have to do a final thing with the razor to get some areas like here, get the area behind my neck. This does make a little bit of a mess, but it's nothing as significant if you were using a razor for the whole head or actually scissors. So, okay, so now that the haircut is done, I said I would leave you with some final thoughts. I've been using the Flowbee haircutting system for over 20 years, cutting my hair every two to three months. And so saving, you know, 20 to $30 every time, what is that, $120 every year? Uh, the $100 on the Flowbee easily paid for itself in one year, not to mention all the time saved of not having to go to barbers, not having to go to hair salons. It's just great to be able to cut my hair whenever I want to in the comfort of my own home. Uh, it works, as you can see, to do everything a single size. It works with the tapered sizes. It's not good if your hair is over six inches long or if you have to do complicated layers. 
Uh, but as I said, not a sponsored video. I just love the Flowbee. I mentioned this on a live stream, and many of you who are watching the live stream were like, Chris, you need to do this video of the Flowbee. Show us how you cut your hair. Well, so now you know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of my videos about how I cut my hair, I don't have any more videos about how I cut my hair, but you can click right here and watch the video that YouTube thinks is best for you. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in this video.